Today, we say goodbye to incompatible and complex gear swap commands and hello to universally compatible Windows 4 scripts. Hey everyone, Eugene Kate Sith here, and today I am going to try to do a brief guide on a better alternative to gear swap commands, which is Windows 4 scripts. Uh, I often get a lot of comments about how to make my gear swap commands work because unfortunately it's not very compatible. I would say the two most popular gear swaps right now are slindrels and uh, uh, moats. Uh, and unfortunately, my gear swap commands do not work at all in moats, and it breaks some functionality in syringes. So, uh, luckily, uh, you can now use uh, Windows 4 scripts, which is universal, and it works regardless of uh, what gear swap you use. And to make it even better, uh, it uses the exact same uh, code as. Uh, my Gearswap commands. So it's essentially as easy as copy pasting the Gearswap commands you can find here and pasting them into a Windows 4 script. So first off, let's start out with uh, where to find Windows scripts. Okay, so you find your Windows 4 folder, right? And then there's just the scripts folder. And this is where INIT goes. And here they are. They're just right here. Now you're gonna need to open with admin status or you won't be able to save in this folder. So make sure you're, wherever you're editing it, either with notepad or um, notepad++, make sure that you open that with the uh, admin status. Uh, so right here in notepad++, we have our base script. This is like the, the, the uh, trunk of the tree. This is where everything starts, or I should say it's the tree branch or something. Uh, <laughs> and then everything else um, branches out from here. Uh, but essentially, this first base is the one you'll be executing in game that you saw me use earlier in the video uh, with uh, exec base. And you can put this in a uh, macro too. So you don't have to just type this out every time. You can actually customize them, put them in whatever macro you want, or even hotkey them in your INIT file, which is also a script. Uh, but anyways, uh, this is the base file that is sending to each character what to execute, right? Which means for each job, you have a different script that you have to make that can do whatever the heck you want. Like for my samurai here, I have my samurai using Hasso and meditate every time I execute the script. Uh, and then for the core, I have it uh, loading autocore in case if it's not loaded, uh, it waits and then it turns autocore off or on. And then after two minutes, it'll turn autocore um, off. Now you can, uh, I'll leave a link in the description for the autocore add-on. Uh, I actually love it. It makes it really easy and it's a pretty smart add-on. It's a, it's a way better version of what's called roll, something roll, uh, auto roll or something. But this is AutoCore and uh, I highly recommend it. Uh, next up we have the Geo, uh, which is doing um, full circle to start off, just in case if I already had a Luapon up, and it's waiting, and then it's using Indu Precision, Blaze of Glory, Geo Fury, uh, Dematerialize, uh, EA, and uh, Dematerialize, or Life Cycle, 
and then at the end it uses interest so basically everything a geo can do right there and then we come to bard bard just doing my base songs with all the job abilities except for sps we make a separate one for sps then white mage is doing the same thing it's very very easy to just transfer over everything i had here and put them in a separate script file right at your whim now it's going to be up to you to decide what you want to do what your delays are what you want your character to do but this is the format you need basically to do everything and once you understand the format there's really nothing you can't do right same thing with red mage see basically this is all literally the same this is all the same it's just different job abilities, different wait times that you that you uh, you'll have to figure out on your own, or just copy mine and just see if they work, right? Okay, next I'm gonna show you guys the step-by-step -step process of transferring over one of my gear swap commands into the new Windower 4 scripts. Uh, so we're gonna start with our base file I told you about earlier. Uh, and this is going to be for fire skill chain uh, with uh, the scholar also nuking fire five instead of helix. So fire skill chain two. Um, samurai is not required in this, so we're going to delete it. Actually, the three that we, the two that we need is just actually geo. Um, Geo F2 for Fire 2. Uh, Scholar F2 for Fire 2, obviously. Uh, Red Mage. And you know, you can name these whatever you want. It really doesn't matter. This is just me making, making stuff up on the fly. It honestly does not matter which you name these as long as it corresponds to the correct file. Okay, so to explain it more, um, the geos, the geos do the same thing, right? So they can both execute the same file. Scholar does a different file, so it needs a different, um, the uh, different uh, file, obviously. And then Red Mage does, uh, has different delays probably. So we'll just separate that. Uh, we wanna send this to Shraya, she's a Geo, and Shred is also a Geo. So we wanna just copy this. Make another one. And then make it Shred instead. Okay, so this is our starting base. And we'll just call it F2. Okay, it's done. So next we're gonna make the, let's go in order actually. We'll do the Geo first. And we call it Geo F2, let's remember that. So we're just gonna go over to The, uh, the scholar. We'll start with scholar first, actually. So it's right in here. It's called F2. There it is right here. And all we do, copy, copy the middle part, ignore all the rest, copy, paste, and it's done. Just name it what it is. Scholar. I think caps matter, but for this it doesn't really matter. The only thing that matters is what you're executing. Your base file will execute the rest, so th that has to match. Uh, yep. We'll open up the base to make sure we called it the right thing real quick, actually. Oh yeah, we capitalized everything. Okay, so, good. We'll just check the Scholar one again. Scholar F2. And we're good. That, that's what makes the skill chain. 
Um, okay. Now we will make... What is next? We already did the geo. Uh, now we'll do the geo. Okay. So all we do... Now I'm not sure if I have the geo one added to this right now. So we're just going to take the black mage one. Actually, to be sure, I'll upload this later, but it should be right... We'll just get it from my actual Lua, so it, so there's no mistake here. Do add-ons, gear swap... Find F2. Oh, yep, yeah, there it is. We're just copying the middle part. Easy. And we are just pasting it. And then calling it Geo F2. Save as. Geo F2. Both of those geos are done now. Uh, the last one we have to make is for Red Mage, which I'm pretty sure is exactly the same. So we're just gonna copy this. We're gonna rename it Red Mage F2. Okay, so now we have a mob ready to go, and uh, it's uh, what we just made is as easy as just typing exec. F2. The scholar makes the skill chain. And all the mages magic burst it. Exactly like the gear slot command. So it's just as simple as copy pasting from the gear slot command um, code and pasting it into the Windor 4 script. And finally, I want you guys to know that I will be updating my GitHub more to transfer the gear swap command code over to the script code. So if you're interested in transferring, it's as easy as going to the GitHub uh, and copy pasting whatever you want uh, for yourself. Uh, so that's going to do it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like and subscribe uh, if you enjoyed the video. And don't forget that I also stream on Twitch. So if you have any specific questions about anything Final Fantasy related, feel free to hop on Twitch and uh, ask me. But yeah, thank you again for watching the video. You guys take care.